Hey guys, Rusty over here with my first ever gearing guide for World of Warcraft. I'm going to be showing you how you can get your character to item level 233 purely by doing open world content. Meaning, you don't have to step foot in a raid, a dungeon mythic plus, or any type of raided PvP. If open world content is your focus and you want some pretty decent gear, you want to get the item level 233, this is how you do it. And just for reference, normal mode Sanctum of Domination gear drops item level 226 gear, heroic mode being 239. So this is six item levels less than heroic Sanctum of Domination. So this gear is actually pretty decent. Now it's not super quick, it will take a little bit of time. So long intro out of the way, let's just get right into the guide. I'll save my opinion for this gearing system for the end. Now first things first, you need to actually get the base gear, which you can then eventually upgrade to item level 233. The base gear starts again at item level 200 with upgrade one out of six. And once you eventually upgrade it six times, that's how you get it to item level 233. Now, where does this gear come from? This gear is going to come from daily and weekly quests in the new Corthia zone. It essentially comes from rares. Basically, any activity you do in Corthia, the new Maw zone coming in patch 9.1, has a chance at giving this gear. Now, most of it will likely come from daily quests as they, uh, at least on PTR right now, they often have those as rewards and farming out rares. However, the bi-weekly covenant assaults in the old Maw area will always give at least one piece of gear as a guaranteed drop from them. Now, the other way you could get these pieces of gear is from the new Death's Advance Quartermaster. Now, you need to be friendly in order to purchase this item, this item being the Corthian Armaments. I think I said that right. Yeah, there we go. English. Armaments. Now, these give you a random piece of essentially uh, the new gear coming in patch 9.1, the new Corthia gear. I'm not a fan of it being random. Save my opinion for that later on, though. That's one of the downsides of the system. More importantly, though, these Corthian Armaments, before you open them, are bind on account. So these cost 1,000 stitches, and you have to be friendly with Death's Advance, and then you can mail these to your alts if you want. I have also gotten Corthian Armaments as uh, drops from Elite Mobs during the Covenant Assaults and from Rares in Corthia, so it seems they don't just come from the vendor, although the main source of them will of course be from the vendor, and again, they do cost 1,000 Stygia, so Stygia still being relevant in this patch. And again, you can mail these to your alts. These are account bound. These will likely be your main source of Maw gear. So now that you actually have the base Maw gear and you know where it comes from, let's go over how you actually upgrade this gear. And that's going to come from the second faction in Corthia, that faction being the Archivist Codex. Now, in order to unlock the Archivist Codex, you need to complete a short quest chain. To start this, you're essentially going to go around killing mobs and very quickly, it's a high drop chance, very quickly, you're going to loot an item called Shattered Relics and this will start the quest line for that faction. It is very short, you should be able to knock it out in 10, 15 minutes, 20 at the most, like if, you're popular, if your server is very populated, right? One thing, it's very quick, and once you complete it, you will unlock the Archivist Codex, and you can start earning cataloged research, and that currency is the currency that you will use to upgrade this gear eventually to item level 233. That'd be, it will take a lot of this currency to do this. This is not something quick, guys. We'll make sure that's clear. Now, how do you get cataloged research? Well, you do that through another currency. I know, a lot of currency. You do that through another currency called Relic Fragments. Now, these Relic Fragments come from specific mobs out in the world, although you won't be able to see which mobs uh, have them on them right away until you eventually get an upgrade. More on that in a little bit. So essentially, you're gonna go around for the most part just killing mobs and you will have a chance to loot these relic fragments they also come from rare spawns and treasures so make sure you're looting treasures and rare spawns as well i do eventually plan on making a, uh, a relic fragment or essentially a catalog research farming guide once the patch actually comes out and i get an actual farming route for this but for now essentially all you need to know loot mobs loot rares loot treasures and there'll eventually be different upgrades too that will increase the amount of catalog research or relic fragments that you get now, once you have your relic fragments, you can head back to Archivist Rocher. I know, I don't know how to say his name, right? You're gonna head back to the Archivist, you click on his dialogue, and then you can turn them in, and he will give you uh, catalog research and also reputation with the uh, the Archivist Codex, which will be required for the later upgrades. And then you can eventually go to the item upgrade dude, and then use that catalog research to upgrade the gear. Now, catalog research is also used to buy what I was talking about before, different uh, upgrades. Now, for the most part, this reputation grind is going to start out very, very slow. You will gain very little amounts of catalog research until you can eventually buy upgrades, which will essentially increase the amount of catalog research and relic fragments that you get. 
One of those being the, uh, you can actually see, you can buy an upgrade that lets you see which mobs are carrying relic fragments on them. So you don't have to waste your time uh, killing mobs that don't have them. There's also a upgrade, for example, that just flat out increases, like you discover 50% more catalog research when you turn in the relic fragments. Essentially guys, just to summarize this for you, you'll gain, it'll start out very, very slow, but eventually you will be able to upgrade it to the point where you're getting a decent chunk of cataloged research. I know I'm saying a lot of catalog research. Does it upset you guys I say it that much? I'm sure it does. But anyways, to eventually upgrade it to ranks five and six though, you need to buy um the essentially the last two upgrades so you need tier six of the archivist codex which is just getting uh, gaining reputation with the archivist codex so instead of getting exalted you'll just hit tier six and that just comes from turning in relic fragments for reputation you will also need renown 70 uh, what is it renown 75 for the final upgrade and then you can eventually upgrade the maw gear all the way to rank six item level 233 for basically a lot of catalog research. Again, guys, this is not something you're gonna do quick. This is something you'll do over time. However, personally, guys, for someone who really just doesn't wanna do instance content, but just wants to focus, maybe have a little fun in the outdoor world, I think this is okay. Even if you don't fully grind out a full set of item level 233, I think this is still nice to get some pretty, again, this is pretty decent gear. This is better than normal mode Sanctum of Domination gear which for open world content, I think that's pretty good. Overall, I really am a fan of this system. Has two negatives. I'm really not a fan of the Corthian armaments being RNG. I really think it should be more like Benthic gear where they were actual tokens you could buy and send the alts. I think that would be uh, much, much more enjoyable. And currently on the PTR, hopefully this changes the second negative. The upgrades you get in the Archivist Codex that essentially lets you uh, increase the pace of the amount of catalog research you get. This is not account bound. This is per character. So that's going to be making this, uh, basically you have to redo the whole thing on alts. I'm really not a fan of this. I think almost all the upgrades should be account bound. Once you do it on one character, you alts have the upgrades to increase the amount of catalog research. At the very least, make the ones that increase the, uh, basically increase the pace of the reputation account wide. I, I think they should do that at the bare minimum. But overall, besides those two big negatives, in my opinion, I'm a big fan of this system. And that is pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I do hope this video helped you out. Sub to the channel if you're not already. And again, guys, I do plan on making a full catalog research farming guide once the patch actually goes live and I got an actual like farming route down for you guys. I do plan on doing that. And before I go, quick reminder that Halo 3, it's the best. And th that's a fact. I'm sorry, I can't change it. I, I, I can't change it, guys. It's just the best Halo. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.